Hey, it's the Smart Home Helper here, and today I'm going to be doing a review over the Quick Set 916. I'm going to be breaking it down into four different categories with a rating one out of five. Um, the first is going to be the installation. So I'm going to give you a rating in comparison to other smart locks that I've installed, the level of difficulty there, um, abilities and features. That's going to be another thing that I'm going to rate. I'll also rate the price. And then lastly, I'm going to give it a smart home helper rating. Uh, so that's going to be my complete bias of what I feel this lock is rated in comparison to other locks that I've worked with. So sit back, relax, tell me what you think of the Quickset 916 and let me know if you agree or if you disagree. All right, so for installation, it took me about 15 minutes to install this lock. I'll tell you, I've installed hundreds of locks before. Um, if you've installed a quick set lock before, this should be no problem for you. If it's your first ever lock ever, uh, smart lock especially installing, I'd probably say an hour would be a safe bet. It's uh, one of the easier locks to install. Some of the things that might be difficult for you would be uh, rehanding the lock. That's something you have to do with smart lock, so teach it which direction to go as well as uh, the deadbolts, um, you're going to want to make sure that it goes smoothly into the hole. Um, so that's another really important factor. But all in all, um, I'd say this is one of the easier locks to install, especially for a, a touch screen. Um, so I'm actually going to give this a 5 out of 5 for the installation rating on this lock. All right, so for the abilities and features, the first one right off the bat is this smart lock runs on the Z-Wave network, which allows for the lock to be on its own network, not affecting the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to say that's a plus or a positive right off the bat. Uh, some of the hubs that you'll find that work with this would be like Wink or SmartThings or Iris, really anything that you can find that has Z-Wave. Some of the voice activated would be Alexa, Google Home, any of those are going to work on this as well. Uh, sad nickel, brass, bronze, those are going to be the colors that you can find with this lock. It can have up to 30 user codes, uh, so I think that's a pretty cool feature. I don't know if you'd ever need that many, but hey, you got it. The only negative now that I've heard is with the because it's touchscreen, I've heard of that breaking a couple times, and when that breaks, really you can't use the lock. So that would be the only negative uh, that I've heard is actually with that touch screen. But besides that, all in all, it has everything that you're gonna want for a smart lock. So I'm actually gonna give it a four out of five uh, for features. You know, it doesn't have touch, it doesn't have a fingerprint or anything like that, like a next level thing to give it a five out of five, but it really has all the basic features that, that you're gonna need. All right, so for price, I found it right around $180. You can see that in the show notes. And I think for smart locks, especially a touchscreen one, this is a really well-priced lock. So I'm actually giving it a five out of five on the price. If you compare it to like a Yale or a Schlage, it's priced very, very well. Um, so when it comes to price, this lock is doing awesome. All right, so now for the smart home helper rating. It's going to be a 4.5. Reason is the price is great for the features and the touch screen ability on this lock, and it's easy to install. So I would say go ahead and get it if you're thinking about getting the Quick Set 916. Uh, so please leave your comments if you agree or disagree with my ratings. I look forward to hearing from you.